Hey everybody, this is the look that I'm going to show you how to get step by step. And I hope that you love it and subscribe if you like it. So let's do this. I start off with my brows, of course. Gotta pluck them. And of course, I have to use my babyless mirror. So cute and tiny, you know. And I use my little pinky thing to pluck, pluck. <laughs> well, so you see, it's very important to pluck them because you don't want to look like a monster. And you know, when I'm done plucking, Anastasia, yes, mm hmm, it's the color ebony that I use to fill out my bras because I don't really have that much hair left from the shaving I did as a little young teen. Kind of regret it, but here I am now filling them out. And it's very important to take time on your eyebrows because you want them on fleek. You don't want them to be cousins. I'd rather have them as twins, actually. And then, of course, haha, Anastasia, um, cream contour kit. I'm happy about that. Um, I think this one is the darkest kit. I bought the wrong one. But anyways, I take the white part. I don't know the color of it, but yeah, I like to highlight underneath my eyebrows. So that's what I've seen other people do. So I guess I'm doing it too. Don't mind me, I was talking to my husband. So let's continue there to the next eyebrow. Looking good, matchy matchy, on fleek. <laughs> of course. And then I'm going to take my foundation for the upper part so it looks straight. Get rid of those tiny bumps. And I don't want to use the white color because I don't want halo eyebrows, you know. I want it to look like almost natural. And then for the eyes, I use the NYX contour palette. Um, I don't know what color it is, but it, I use the whitest shade and put it on my eyes as a base. Oh yes, put it on. Put it on. Mm -hmm. And then I use the Anastasia contour kit, the dry one, to take the darkest shade. Then put it on my eyes. You can see. And that palette is for medium. I think it's tan. Medium tan. Then I take the orangey color. Then I put it just underneath the eyebrows. Oh no, actually that palette is for the darkest skin, I think. But anyways, if you have something similar, you can learn. And the other eye too. Of course, I think my makeup face looks kind of good, you know, all relaxed and chill. And then for the highlight, it's from a cheap store, but anyways, I put it underneath my brows. Just like everybody else on YouTube, not everybody, but some, and I like it, so I do it too. You can get inspired by my look and how I do my makeup. We can all learn from each other on YouTube. <laughs> so I've joined. And then the foundation. I put it on. Because I always start with the eyes. And then the foundation. Because you can get some dust on your cheeks. And it's good to have it on. And then on to the contour kit. Anastasia cream palette. I put on some white white. I'm not trying to make myself white. So you know. I love being black. And I put this white shade underneath my eyes because I want to look not so tired, I guess. Or I'm just doing it because I've seen it on YouTube. Some makeup artist out there has done it, so I'm doing it too. But if she jumps from a bridge, I won't jump. I will follow makeup advices and stuff like that. See, And then the dark shade. Round, round, round. Like everybody else. Contour. Put it on the nose. You can see what I'm doing. 
I don't have to explain everything in a detail, but you get it. It's Anastasia cream contour. And then of course the blending part. Then I have to blend like everybody else. A blending, blending, blend, 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 blend. Blending, blending. Yeah. It's coming together. It's starting to look like something from an avatar to a human being. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm satisfied about it. You know, it's my first video. And then, of course, I use my powder foundation from H&M. I don't know what color it is. You know, I just try it on me. I don't really read the product. I just buy it and try it. Um, if you have a powder foundation, just use it on top of the contour. Because my contour was a bit light, so... Try to fix it with a powder foundation. But I'm satisfied anyways, you know. <laughs> See, I'm not a professional makeup artist. I'm a makeup hobbyist. And I've become better by the years. And then I fix the bras. Because you don't want the sharp lines. You want it to look smooth. You know. And then, of course, that darker shade that I had on my eyes, I have to have it underneath my eyes. Because I think it looks good. I have no reason to why I'm doing it, but I think it looks awesome. And excuse my voice, I have a, the flu right now. In Sweden, it's hot, and then it's cold. And then it's cold, you know. And then it's hot. And then, of course, the highlighting. On the cheekbones. I do the C form. I learned it on Snapchat. Someone said you have to do the C form. So I'm doing the C form highlighting style. I kind of like it. I love highlighting. But anyways, I'm sick today because of the weather. Then I highlight my nose. See, when you live in Sweden, you always get the flu. Standard disease. <laughs> Well, of course. Then I take the darker shade, you see, close to my cheeks, towards my ears, I guess. And it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I think it's the dark one. I'm not really sure. I just buy it. If it's on sale, I buy it and I try it. And the nose, of course. Can't forget the nose. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm really serious about it, you see. Focused. Focus, Foxy Mama. Focus. Mm-hmm. I guess on my next video, I'll try to smile a little bit more. Oh, the color fix. The color fix from a cheap store in Sweden. You can see that shade. It's the bronzing palette from Color Fix that I bought at a store called Ulla Red. Yeah, you can find it in... An area called Halland in Sweden. And then the eyelashes. I almost forgot. I put some glue on them. And while the glue is on, I put on my... Hmm, I don't know if it's lipstick, lip gloss from NYX. Beautiful shade. You can always comment and I will tell you what it is. Thank you for watching. And you know you can follow my Instagram, Oxymoron. I'm done. You love it? Yes, I do. Thank you for watching. Hi.